Hey, what's up everyone? Josh Quinones here, and today we are going to be taking a look at the new Whitestone Dome Premium Gen Film for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. This is going to cover that inside display, the outside display, and even the hinge itself. So really excited to try this out and see how well it's going to protect this device when it comes to both displays and that hinge. And I got to give a huge thanks and shout out to the sponsors of this video, iBlazon. They went ahead and sent me out two cases right here to try out. I know we're installing a screen protector, but they want to to sponsor this video because they want us to see that their cases are compatible with these screen protectors right here so make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because once we install all of the screen protectors and that hinge protector we're going to go ahead and throw on these cases and show that they are compatible with these screen protectors right here so again huge thanks and shout out to iBlazon for sponsoring this video all right so as you can see i already got everything all set out and ready to go here you want to make sure you are prepared before doing this installation so if you want to set everything up make sure you are ready to go and then you can go ahead and start the process process. So the first thing we are going to do is open up this uh, device right here. Make sure the phone is off and we're going to go ahead and remove. You got to make sure to remove the installed screen protector that is already in this device. So they went ahead and gave us this little tool right here. And this is what's going to help us lift that pre-installed screen protector off that inside display. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. You're going to want to take the corner of this little blue uh, film right here and just kind of just kind of tuck it under uh, that inside screen protector. There we go, got it. Okay, once it's in there a little bit, then you can just pull up and this inside screen protector should easily just peel off like that. There we go. Woo! This display is looking beautiful without that <laughs> pre-installed screen protector. Okay, so now that that's out of the way for now, the next thing we are going to do is make sure this uh, rig right here, or jig uh, is what they call it, is facing the right direction. You wanna make sure that camera hole is up here at the top left. Then we are going to take this piece right here. See this part right here at the top? Or this is actually the bottom. We're gonna flip it down like this and just place it right into this little insert right here. Go ahead and press down on it. There we go, and it should look just like that. So now once we got all that taken care of, we can go ahead and take our Galaxy Z Fold 4. There's the camera module right there. Make sure it goes into that insert right here. Go ahead and just set it right in, just like that as you can see. And then we'll go ahead and take this uh, little wet towelette that they give us here, and just go ahead and start uh, wiping down that inside display and make sure there's no fingerprints or anything like that. You wanna make sure it is as clean as you can possibly get it. There we go, it's looking pretty good. There we are, and then we can go ahead and take the dry uh, little towel that they give us here, just wipe it down, make sure it's nice and dry, nice and clean. There we go, looking good. Okay, now next up, we are going to take these dust absorbing stickers and just go around the display. Uh, it is has It does have a sticky bottom right here, as you can see, and it's going to pick up any dust that may have fallen onto your display or may have gone onto your display from that uh, dry towel that we just went over it with. And you do wanna make sure you do this uh, in a dust-free environment or in uh, as a dust-free environment as you can possibly get. Here, I do have a bit of dust uh, floating around, so hopefully we can do this without getting any dust <laughs> on the display itself so we don't get any air bubbles. But I gotta just give you guys that heads up uh, just in case we do to get a little bit of dust under the screen protector while installing it. All right, so that's looking good right there. Next, we're gonna do is take this little piece right here. It does have an adhesive strip on the bottom. So we're gonna peel that off. And then we are going to stick it in the back right here. So I'll go ahead and pull this down a little bit. This is going to be a, pretty much like a little stoppage. So when you apply the screen protector, look at that, it's gonna prevent this from pushing up. So it's going to stick to the desk or table or counter or wherever you're doing this on. And it's going to prevent it from pushing back. So that is what that piece is for. Okay, so next up, we are going to take our screen protector itself. It does say top and bottom, so you know uh, what the top and bottom is. And then there is this little, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and call it a lever, that you can pull back on, and that's going to pull back uh, the thin plastic that is protecting that screen protector and the adhesive. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off. Just like that, I wanna try to make sure not to get any dust and then make sure it's facing down. The sticky part is facing down. So you got these holes at the top. You're gonna to go ahead and set them, whoops, set them in the inserts up here. There we go. And the same thing at the bottom. Make sure the holes are lining up. Just like that, as you can see here. Okay, looks like our screen protector is still doing good. And then at this point, we can go ahead and take our squeegee here and we are going to apply some good pressure and force and just push forward from the bottom to the top. So let's go ahead and do this. See how it comes out. Wish me luck. 
you want to make sure to go nice and slow applying a good amount of pressure it's lining up really really good and that's what this whole uh, jig is for to make sure this lines up really good and it does seem like it can be quite a uh, a process here a complicated process but it's actually not that bad so as you can see we got it all the way to the top and at this point we can take this off like that we can take the bottom off too as well and then we'll go ahead and take the small part and just push up you want to make sure there is no air bubbles got to be sure to get all that adhesive sticking to the display itself so it stays on there nice and secure and doesn't peel up on you uh, when we take this top portion off. So I'll go ahead and go over it a second time towards the top. And then we can go towards the bottom as well. Seems to be coming along pretty good so far. One more time. And that looks like it should be okay. It looks like I might have an air bubble down there, but we won't know until we take this uh, top portion off. Okay, so now at this point, we can go ahead and take this off. It ju it'll just peel right off while the screen protector itself stays on the display. So you can see there. And whoa, okay, so it actually came out pretty good. But, you know, I'm going to go ahead and take the squeegee one more time. Just go over it softly here just to make sure it's on there good. I don't see any air bubbles, so I think I did a pretty good job when it came to the dust. I don't see any dust on there either, and it is looking good. So let's go ahead and take it out of this jig right here. Let's set that over there, let's take a close look at it. Woo, look at that, and yes, let me see, if I can get a close up here, you could see that that pre-installed screen, or not pre-installed, but the screen protector we just put on is on there. You can tell on the edges right there. So yes, it is on there and it is looking good. No air bubbles. All right, all right, let's go ahead and give it its first full. Actually, let me power on the device here and let's see how well it works with, uh, you know, just using the device itself. All right, so I got the phone powered on and it feels nice. Actually, it, it, it feels pretty much just like the pre-installed screen protector that was already on here. And it feels good. I mean, it looks good on the display itself. It doesn't give any weird glare or anything like that or any weird kind of effect. I mean, it, you can't even tell that there is a screen protector um, on this inside display right here. So Whitestone Dome did a very good job with this new premium gen film. And as you can see, it responds very well while using it. Let's go ahead and give it its first fold. There we go. Let's open it up to see if anything happens. And no, it looks good. It stayed on there nice and secure, looking really, really good. So let's go ahead and do this outside display. Okay, so the steps for this outside display are going to be very similar. We're gonna go ahead and clean it up with this. We can go ahead and use the same uh, wet little towel that they gave us here, a little wet wipe. Just wipe it down, make sure it's free from any fingerprints, anything like that. Make sure it's nice and clean. There we are, and then we can go ahead and dry it up. So you can see this does leave a little bit of dust on your display. I'm gonna wipe it off and then we'll go ahead and take our dust remover sticker again. Now this one's going to be similar but different. There's no uh, jig that we use to line this up or anything. We're basically eyeballing this one. So you wanna get it as straight as you possibly can. Just trying to make sure there isn't any dust. Okay, looking good. Got the screen protector right here. Go ahead and peel this piece back. This is going to be the adhesive side. Okay. And then we're gonna line this up as best as possible. Kinda hard to do this behind camera, but I'm going to do my best, so bear with me here. There we go. Okay, that is looking good right there. So we can go ahead and take our little squeegee again. And now what we're gonna do is hold it right here. You can see a light little line. We're gonna hold it right below that line and then we are going to peel this part back and then push forward with some pressure try to keep it straight there we are that's that top portion of the screen protector 
make sure there's no air bubbles. Turn it around, we'll do the exact same thing. Hold it right at the bottom of that. Peel up and push forward. Apply a good amount of pressure. Boom. Got a little air bubble there down there at the bottom. See if we can push that out. All right, it is looking good. You can go over it a few times if you want just to ensure there is no air bubbles. If you wanna go sideways like this just to make sure. But look at that. Let's go ahead and try this out. Look at that, responding very well. Now it doesn't feel like glass. It is not a glass screen protector. So you could kind of feel that it is there, but as you can see, it responds very well. And we did a very good job at installing this. Look at that, not looking bad at all. So that is that front outer screen protector. All right, so last up is the hinge right here. We're going to just wipe it down real quick, clean it up. Now this isn't going to be something that is entirely necessary. Uh, most people probably aren't going to install this on their hinge, but just to show you guys, since we do have it here, Go ahead and just put it on and uh, see what it looks like. It's looking clean there. So we'll go ahead and take off. There's a number one and a number two. We're gonna peel back the number one, just like that. And we'll go ahead and just, whoops, I accidentally hit the camera there, but let's go ahead and just line this up, just like that. Pretty much gonna be the same concept as the um, outer uh, front display. Go ahead and peel this back and just Let's see, uh, there we go. Let's see if I can get this right. Kind of hard to do behind camera. There we are. And we'll go ahead and just push forward on it. And we'll go ahead and do the other side. Try to line it up as best as possible. There we are. And then you basically just push it down with your fingers. Make sure it's on there nice and secure. And then we can peel this top part off. And there it is. Look at that. Can't even really tell it's on there and it's going to give that hinge, uh, that protection you need if you do not want to, you know, scratch it up or anything like that. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Let's go ahead and check out the cases by iBlazon, the sponsors of this video. All right, so taking it over to the cases here from iBlazon for the Galaxy Z Fold 4, we got the Cosmo series here to the left, which is a completely clear case. And then we got the Armor Box case right here, which is going to give you maximum protection. Both cases do hold the S Pen as well. Let's go ahead and put these on. And both also come with a pre-installed screen protector. So even though we have this uh, film screen protector right here, it's going to give you a double protection. So all you gotta do is slap this on just like that as you can see there on there nice and secure and then we can open this up right here and this is the part that's going to hold the s pen as you can see there look at that got my s pen in there and then this one as well you can just snap on in the back or slide on if you will just kind of make sure it snaps in there nice and secure i like to give it a good squeeze just to make sure there we are, as you can see, the camera module lines up perfectly in the back and you're getting a nice deep cutout uh, to give it that good protection in case you happen to uh, drop it or anything like that. You got a cutout right there for the power button to give you easy, easy access. So you can go ahead and use that uh, fingerprint scanner on that power button right there. So no issues there and it makes it a lot easier to find it as well. And then you also have the uh, volume rockers on the side, which are nice and responsive, nice and clicky. Look at that. And just the overall case itself is just super rugged. And look at that. It does add a bit of bulk to your device, but it is going to give you that maximum protection. And right here on the side, it does have an opening for the S Pen. So this is how you're going to take the S Pen out. This actually opens up just like that, as you can see right there. And then you can just pop that S Pen right out. I, I happened to accidentally drop it, but as you can see there, that is going to hold your S Pen in there nice and secure. Snaps right back in. You can pop it back out like that. Look at that easy access to your S Pen. And then it just closes back up just like that. And then when you open up the device, you're still getting good protection around this inside display, a nice little lip going all the way around to where if you happen to accidentally drop it face down like that, I mean, of course you still wanna be careful to not drop your device, but if you happen to accidentally drop it face down like that, it should give it uh, some pretty good protection. Just enough lift if you happen to drop it on a flat surface uh, to where it won't damage that inside display. And this is how it works on the outside, as you can see there. 
And then when you fold it back up, all you gotta do is push that back in there and you are good to go. But as you can see, it is uh, going to be compatible with these Whitestone Dome uh, glass screen protectors. It's not going to touch it at all or push it up or anything like that even the outside one right here. So as you can see, this is their armor box case, giving you maximum protection. You also get a kickstand with this one as well. You wanna put it like that. You can even open it up, put it like that to watch content. You could put it, let's see, okay, maybe not this way when it's open, but when it's closed, you can put it that way as well. So this is the armor box case by iBlaze, and let's check out this one by uh, the Cosmo series really quick. All right, so taking it over to the Cosmo series case right here, as you can see, we get a nice clear case showing off that beautiful backing of your Galaxy Z Fold 4 device. Same thing with this camera module here in the back. It's going to give you a nice deep cutout to where if you accidentally drop it on a flat surface on its back like that, it should protect those cameras there in the back right there. And as you can see, yes, this is a clear case. There's no kickstand or anything like that. This is basically to show off the beautiful backing of your Galaxy Z Fold 4 device. You do see uh, two little hinges right here. This is going to open it up to be able to put that S Pen in there. And that is going to house the S Pen for you. Closes right back up to keep it nice and protected. There is an opening right there to push it out when you're ready to use it. Look at that. Easy access to the S Pen. Closes right back up. In the front right here, of course, you're getting that pre-installed screen protector and a nice deep cutout as well to where if you accidentally drop this flat down on a flat surface like that, it should protect that display, especially with the white zone dome screen protector that we have under this one right here. You're getting the maximum protection uh, as you possibly can. And then over here to the side, still got access to that power button so we can be able to use that uh, fingerprint reader, as you can see, working good, makes it easy to find. And then the volume rockers, nice and responsive and then let's go ahead and open this up look at that still getting some good protection for that uh inside display going to give you just enough lift to where you can set this down on a flat surface without having to worry or if you accidentally just drop it on a flat surface like that it should give it enough lift to protect that inside display but overall it's a nice looking case if you're still looking to show off your device. Both of these cases right here are going to give you some great protection. If you're interested in any of the screen protectors that I showed in this video and helped you install, if you're interested in any of these cases right here, I'll make sure to drop some links down in the description below so you can go ahead and check them out for yourself. But y'all let me know your thoughts down in the comment sections below. If you did like this video and find it helpful, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come. Thank you all so very much for watching. This is Josh Quinones. Again, huge thanks to iBlazing for sponsoring this video. I will see you on the next one. Peace out.